Hey everyone, Nick Genetac is here. In this video, I'd like to go over a tip on how to edit text on any website. For example, what we're looking at here is my website on the left and it's running in localhost. I am running this site through Jekyll, which is a static site generator. And then over here, we're looking at the code responsible for rendering this homepage. Now, let's say for argument's sake that I wanna change the title from development to production. The standard workflow for this would be to go to my code editor, make the change, save the file. Jekyll is going to regenerate a new copy of the website in about three seconds. And then live reload is gonna kick in and we can see our change over here without even having to hit reload on the browser. And that's a pretty sweet workflow. And it's really nice for writing a blog post or making a change to a template if you're using something like Flask or Rails. But if you just wanna make a small UI change, such as changing a title, or maybe a description, or possibly a navbar item, it would be really nice if we can just make the change on the page and then see the changes immediately. So there is one way to do this, right? You can just right click the element, then you go to inspect, then you find it in the code, and then you can just change it here, and then it just works. But we're not barbarians here, right? We're not gonna do that workflow for every single element, right? I'm sure as heck not. So there is a better way to do this. If you go to the console, you can type in document.body.content editable equals true. And then once we do that, we can go back to the website over here and just start making changes anywhere that we want and we can see them immediately. For example, wouldn't it be nice if I had 200,000 people taking one of my courses? Maybe one day. But the cool thing about this is you get that immediate feedback. And when you're done making your changes, you can just hit reload and things are going to be back to normal, which is from this file over here. For example, if you want that exclamation point to always go away, then I would just edit the file. Keep in mind this will work for any website, not just yours running on localhost. So going to the console over here and typing this out every time you want to make that change, that's kind of cool, but we can do something even better. For example, if you hit the up arrow here, we can just copy that command, and then you can just go to your browser's bookmark bar. In my case, I don't have that enabled because I like to keep things pretty minimal. But in Chrome, you can just go to bookmarks and then go to show bookmarks bar. This will also work for Firefox as well. So once here, you can just go to add page and then you can just type in the name for the page here, which would be something like edit current page. Then for the URL, we're gonna say we're going to execute some JavaScript. We'll paste in our command here and we'll finish things off with a void zero. Once we have all that set up, we can just hit save. And now there's a new bookmark here for edit current page. Now, if you just want to edit the current page that you're looking at, you can just click edit current page. And now you can just start making all of your changes. And when you're done making those changes, you can just hit reload and things are back to normal. Now let's say I go to google.com, which is a public website. I can just go to edit current page and start making changes to their nav bar and so on. I typically use this method when I'm editing copy on a website or changing a widget's title on the fly. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.